Hey everyone, it's John here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can validate email addresses with the new regex test function. So for example, you can use this to prevent users from entering incorrect email addresses. So here we've got a table of data. And if I try and enter something that's not an email address, then I'm going to get this pop up telling me that I need to enter a valid email address. And it's not going to let me enter anything that's not an email address. So let's see how we can set this up with the regex test function. So regex is going to allow us to match text data based on a pattern. And for example, this is the pattern that we're going to use to match an email address. And so the, and so this caret character here tells us that this is the start of the string that we want to match. And the next part here is going to match either lowercase letters, numbers, an underscore character, period or a dash character. And then the plus symbol here just tells us that we need to have at least one or more of these characters. And this section makes up our user ID part of our email address. After this section, we need an at symbol in our email address. And then after the at symbol, we're going to match either lowercase letters, numbers, a period character or a dash character. And so this is going to be the domain name part of our email address. And again, the plus sign here indicates that we want to match at least one or more of those characters in our domain name. After our domain name, we need a period character. And then after our period character, we're going to have our top level domain. So this is going to be the .com or .ca or .co.uk part of our email address. And here we need to have only lowercase letters or a period character in our top level domain. And it needs to be at least two characters long and no more than five characters long. And then after that, our dollar symbol here indicates the end of our string. So now let's take a look at using this regex expression to test our email addresses here. And to do this, we're going to use the regex test function so this is either going to return true or false. So it's going to return true if our text matches our regex pattern and false otherwise. So here we're gonna test this text here based on our pattern here. And so here we've got a match. Let's copy and paste that down. So here, for example, we don't have a match and it's because we have this exclamation character in our username. Let's delete that and now we should have a match. And here we don't have a match, and that's because we have this is just the word at instead of the at symbol. Let's fix that. And now we have a match with our pattern. So now let's see how we can use this to prevent users from entering invalid email addresses in our table. So first up, I'm just going to copy this regex expression into my clipboard. Let's press control C. And then we're gonna come down here and select our column of email addresses in our table. And then go up to the data tab and we're gonna create a data validation for that column. And here for our data validation criteria, we're going to select a custom criteria. And this is going to allow us to enter a custom formula that's going to determine whether our data is valid or not. So this needs to be a formula that evaluates to either true or false. And so when it evaluates to true, that's going to indicate that it's valid data and allowed to be entered. And false is going to indicate that it's invalid data and not allow that to be entered. And the formula that we're going to use is the regex test formula with our regex pattern for our email address here. So let's enter that. And for the text that we're going to test, that's going to be our email addresses. And so I'm just going to select the first cell in my column. And then the next argument is just the pattern that we're trying to match. And that needs to be in quotation marks. And then I'm just going to paste that from my clipboard and then close the quotation marks and close the regex test function. Now we can also add an error alert to our data validation. And this is going to be the message that shows when a user tries to input something that's invalid. And let's press OK. And now when we try and enter data into our table, 
and it's not a valid email address that matches our regex pattern, then Excel is going to show us that message and prevent us from entering our data. But if we add something that is a valid email address, then Excel is going to allow us to enter that into our table. So that's how we can use the new regex test function to prevent users from entering incorrect data in our data tables. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.